is my tutorial for a North Pole Milk and Cookies glitter mug design. To start, we're gonna mix some glitters. I needed a brown that simulated a fresh baked cookie and I didn't have one that was quite right, so I mixed one. You don't have to, of course. If you have a brown that you would rather use, go for it. We're ready to apply our glitters. I've already sanded my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block and Krylon spray paint and gloss sun some mm, sun beam. I actually would have used a more brown or tan color than this yellow, but I didn't have one, so I worked with what I had. I'm using the epoxy method, but please feel free to use whatever method you like, the evil Mod Podge, tack it, whatever works for you. your glitter layer cure, then seal with a coat of epoxy, then we'll be ready to add our stencils.
to use a low temp glue gun to find my stencils, but if you have something else you'd like to use, definitely use it. I'll be using Fast Set to apply my glitter and I will be immediately pulling my stencils after glittering. If you use a regular epoxy, I would wait about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the temperature of your house before pulling the stencils. Let cure, seal your glitter with a clear sealer, then seal with a coat of epoxy. Now we're ready to apply our cookie outlines and chocolate chips. Seal your vinyl with another coat of epoxy, then we'll be ready to add our decal and our milk drips. As you see here, I'm gonna be doing some reverse weeding with my decal for the more thinner letters and intricate pieces. Reverse weeding is simply applying your transfer tape to the whole decal, peeling the backing off, then proceeding to peel the excess vinyl from the decal while it's already stuck to the transfer tape. Reverse weeding will save your sanity when weeding intricate designs. Now, I went ahead and painted my rim white with just some acrylic paint, but I really didn't need to. I was thinking that I didn't want the tip of my tumbler to show under the drip because it'll be really thin looking and you'll be able to see the tumbler underneath of it, but I really didn't need to. In fact, the white around the rim made my rim a little too bright white. I wish I hadn't have done it, but you live, you learn. For my drip, I'm gonna be using Nice and Thick from Counterculture DIY, but you can use whatever you like, or you can not, not use anything at all. I know of crafters that use just the epoxy. They let it warm up and then add it to their tumbler, or they add cornstarch into their epoxy. I've heard of baby powder. I've heard of all kinds of things you can do, or you can just use puppy paint. I've seen craft crafters use puppy paint as well. Do whatever is easiest for you. Have I said that before? Whatever is easiest for you, whatever you're comfortable with. I love using nice and thick. I can get the consistency exactly the way I want it and I don't have to wait too long. For my drip, I wanted it to be a little thinner than I normally do, but still thick enough to not be too runny. To test this, I applied a drip on one of my medicine cups and watched how it moved. If it barely moved, that's what I wanted. 
if it moves slightly but not too much that's yeah that's pretty much how you want to gauge it if it's if it moves just like a teeny tiny bit like I stared at this cup for a good maybe 30 to 45 seconds and it hardly moved so I knew it was ready And of course, it's me we're talking about. I wanted to give my drip just a touch of sparkle, so I added moon dust from PDB, but you do not have to, and you can totally skip this step. I let my cup sit for about 30 minutes and now I'm ready to add my cookie. It was a tad too big, so to help it fit better on my tumbler, I decided to cut a bite out of the cookie with my X-Acto knife after tracing out the bite with my pen. I also wanted my milk to be a tad more drippy, so I'll be adding more drip on top, but please don't feel like you have to. I'm messy and when I spill milk, it goes everywhere. And so I wanted to emulate that look. Now this is where I'm looking at it and I'm like, I like it, but it needs something. So I didn't wanna use sprinkles or anything cause who puts sprinkles in their milk but cookie crumbs? After dipping my cookies in milk, I always have crumbs in my milk. So I'm using that leftover piece that we cut from the cookie and crumbling it with my nails to add to my drip. Do you have to do this? Absolutely not. Please do not feel like you have to, but we all know I'm extra. And if you are new to my channel and you didn't know I was extra, I'm extra. I'm extra fam. I'm like extra, extra, read all about it extra, okay? When I was all done, I set my cup to the side of my desk to make sure I didn't hit it with anything and then I babysat it for a little while because I like my drips to be runny but not too runny. And if you find that your drip is a little longer than you want it to be, then by all means fix it. So I'm taking a Q-tip with some 91% alcohol and fixing this drip that was dripping a little bit too low onto my decal. I wanted my decal to be completely uncovered by the drips. So I'm just going through, taking a Q-tip with some alcohol and just wiping it off.
my desk is full of glitter, so I'm cleaning my rim real fast before adding a sealant and my last coat of epoxy. When adding my sealant, I'm lightly tapping with my finger over the crumb so I don't dislodge any, and I'll be doing the same when I add the epoxy. You can also use spray sealer as well, or you don't have to seal at all. I just find that I get a nice smooth finish if I seal my tumbler first before adding my last coat of epoxy. I'm gonna go over my mug lightly with my propane torch and then I'm gonna come back with my kitchen torch to get a little closer because I don't wanna light my cup on fire and using my propane torch and those crumbs, I was scared that I was gonna light my cup on fire. So yeah, kitchen torch for the win. Let cure and then you'll be all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your North Pole cookies and milk tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye.